Yeah, they had the, the most stars. Nah, so anyway. that don't be mean enough. It's not a halfway taste like it. It's due on the back end. What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Yes, but before we get into this video, make sure you start what you're doing. Like this video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel. We open you out to the Takeover Gang. We have new content for y'all every Tuesday and every Thursday, and you don't want to miss it. So, sis, go ahead and tell them what we're doing today. Y'all, so we are trying the best review jambalaya shop in our area. Oh, it's really? called Pot and Paddle. Yeah, they had the, the most stars on when I Googled it. Oh, nah, so, anyway, that don't be mean enough. That don't be mean enough <laughs> at all. So, y'all, I've not already burnt my hand. My hand is over here stinging, trying to heat everything up. I'm talking about gumbo spilled all on my hand. So, we about to just go ahead and get into this video uh, and give y'all an honest review of pot and paddle and see what they got going on with this jambalaya. You want to give us a prayer? Child, yes. Lord, first and foremost, God, we thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for just another opportunity to make this video, Lord God. Thank you for the people down there at the pot and the paddle, even though they could have did a little bit better putting this plate together because it looked like, you know, we're going to get into that. But God, we thank you. Thank you for each and every person that wa that's going to watch this video, Lord God, for each and every one of our subscribers. And it's in your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know what I was alluding to in my prayer. Baby, I opened this here. This a little feed two plate. Right, and so what we figured was we got the jambalaya because they had the best, apparently the best of jambalaya. I didn't even know that. Then we were like, well, let's try both of their beans, the red beans and the white beans. Yeah, baby, yeah, look at how they put this in here. I'm the beans is falling out, out the uh, side of the, 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 the plate. So already starting off with the presentation, they done, they done, they done lost us. We are gonna, we gonna try because the spice, spice not humble beginning, so mm -hmm. it's looking real humble. What you wanna start with? Hey, let's start with the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Let us bread. Come on, bread. bread. Mm -hmm. Let's give it after church. <laughs> Very much so giving after church. I taste the yeast and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fooling with that gumbo. Mm -mm. I'm not moving it. I'm not fooling with it. Let's go and try these beans. I don't like how these beans are sitting up in here. I, I can tell you that. I can tell you now. I can look at them. They smell like country beans, and the beans not cooked long enough for me. It's a blue one. It's something. Yeah, just look at it. Can y'all see it? I'll let steam come off of it. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hold on, wait, let me taste it one more time. So I can be fair. Like, I feel like if they were cooked down more, they would probably be a little better. They need a little more seasoning too. Now, these white beans, the white beans look like they cooked a little bit longer than the red beans, but I'm gonna tell you now, I have never tasted a white bean that I like besides my mama's. Mm -hmm. I don't even cook white beans myself because I don't trust myself. I don't, I sure as hell don't. So, I am, when I tell you I'm scared, I'm nervous and I'm trembling. The white. Mm -mm. Let me just eat this bread to cleanse my palate. Cause what was that? Can I have a sip of that drink? Try that halfway taste like it. It's due on the back end. Yeah, baby, hold on. I'm going to do this jump a lot. Cause right now, they now. I'm They're not, not giving what they need to give. Now with their jambalaya, I didn't even realize. So they asked what kind of jambalaya want. It was they have chicken and sausage, they have pork and sausage. And what was the other kind? No. Oh. So they have two types of jambalaya, <laughs> not three. So y'all get into it. Mm -hmm. That's what jambalaya looks like. It's not bad. Like this, this honestly kind of what I expected it to be. You know what I get this place confused with because my best friend, they get jambalaya from the jambalaya shop uh -huh. every. It tastes for the like the jambalaya shop. No, the jambalaya shop tastes better. When I had it, it tastes just like. 
but that was also some years ago. I mean, the jambalaya, it, the jambalaya, it's like the jambalaya is good. It's just, it's missing something. Let me take this chicken. The texture of the rice is, is, is a little bit off, like just a tad bit, but the flavor, I mean, the flavor is pretty good. Hell, it's the best thing we've had so far. Yeah, my hand is stinging. Do you hear me? I want to take that gumbo out of that microwave. And baby, it came tumbling down just like scarlet. Tell speaking of gumbo, let's 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 watch your hand now. Let's go on and try it. You wanna put rice in it or we just gonna let it be? Let's put you a little put rice, rice in it. Yeah, they put the they put the rice on the side. <clears throat> so you got this big old thing of rice. Lord, if I can get the spoon out. So you got this. I'm really gonna come in the comments. I'm like, y'all should have tried jambalaya shop. I'm already knowing he's coming with the foolery. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a few months ago. So we we made it to the jambalaya shop, but we got the oh girl, this already had right. No. Indeed. Wait. To be fair, Willie, we've had jambalaya shop before. No, never mind. That's just the sausage down there. Well, it looks good. It does. I will give it that. It does look good. The color. That's a big old piece of chicken. <laughs> yeah, that is the whole chicken breast. Look at that. It's, it's falling off the bone. Oh. See, look, be careful. I'm not burning myself. Yeah, you gonna. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get some of this chicken, but golly. <laughs> Baby, just, just, I'm just gonna get some broth. You almost need to eat that with a fork. I don't like the way you smell. Come on, here, get you some. Mm -hmm. I smell like Rubio. Okay, mm -hmm. come here. It's not bad. It's not bad. I need some hot sauce. It just tastes like it's missing that, that, that seafood stuff. Yeah, it's missing a little Creole in this. Yeah. It's giving very much Rue taste. It kind of, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a thin rice and gravy with some chicken and, 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 and sausage in it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to touch on that. Have a touch on it. The jambalaya, I can, I can, I can work with jambalaya. I can, I can, I can do that. Put me a little salad with a little green salad. What you should have got? Salad versus yum and bean. What you think about? Yo, the gumbo is not bad. It just need a little touching. Mm -hmm. I need. I want to meet who they got back there in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I want to meet who they got back there in the kitchen. Child, because this says you ever been at a restaurant, and I know this because I used to manage a restaurant. You ever been at a restaurant? And baby, and then the cook come out the kitchen. And you know exactly why the food tastes like why it tastes like. <laughs> That's why I say, I want to know who they got in the kitchen. Because baby, the way this tastes, they don't got nobody think, in that kitchen with the middle name May, Ann, Lee. One Mary. of my coworkers got got me their uh, pasta liar, mm -hmm. a pasta liar bowl, and I truly enjoyed that. I still think I like their pasta liar over the, the jambalaya. Let me try this gumbo one more bit. I'm just going. What did you have a piece of the sausage? How was the sausage? It looks okay. I mean, nothing really truly wowed me about this plate. Mm -mm. To be honest, Ooh, to say good. to say it was the best reviewed in our area, but if you saw our area, you will know why it was the best reviewed <laughs> in our yeah. area. But yeah, this is real country. I could I, I, I could fix this. I know what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. I can fix it. 
Mm-hmm. Baby, but them beans, mm-hmm. them beans need about three more hours each on that stove, a bay leaf for three in each of them. It's for sure what you call a country bean. I can smell it. See, it smell like country beans. And the only person I know how that can make a bean fast and it tastes good is my but aunt. It, ooh. My tea to Andrea can make a, a good bean. And baby, that bean don't even be on the stove that long. I don't I, know how I she mean, do it. That lady, y'all, that lady can cook a, a red bean in an hour and a half. Not me. My beans, I, I, they call all day beans. They be sitting there all day. Shoot, they be cooking two hours just before I even put the beans in there. That just be the water and the meat and the vegetables. Well, we gotta get that flavor together. Okay. So, overall. Not a leaf inside. Overall, whole meal. What you gonna rate it? A five. I don't think that same thing. The best thing to me is the gumbo. The best thing to me was the bread. <laughs> <laughs> the after church bread, really. But I know about a gumbo. Then the and that's crazy lion. because. It's a jambalaya place. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Um, I don't know about that. Hold on. I don't know. But you say you're not, you're not a fan of pasta laya. I just, that just be a lot going on to me. It be a lot. Um, Doing. Yeah, we was oh, yeah, we just talking about this gumbo. We steady, we steady going back into the bowl. Come on, we gonna fix it. We gonna fix it. That's the best thing to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes like, and this chicken. You know what this chicken tastes like? This chicken tastes like Thanksgiving turkey. I'll have to taste it again. Let's just give them. y'all look. Bye bye. Let me just clear my palate. Like there wasn't nothing but chicken in here, and a, and a tad bit of a, 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 a broth. This on the pommel was good though. I get it. Cause I made it. <laughs> but they had to make the tea in the end. Well, they didn't have to make it in there. They had. It was fresh brewed tea. No, it was the the, the, the drip tea, the, the, um, the water fountain tea. Mm-mm. I'm fresh brewed. Okay, so they, they they did good with the tea. But y'all look, leave that in the comments where y'all get y'all jambalaya from. That's what I'm saying. It's Thanksgiving. That's like. Like if you made a chicken for Thanksgiving instead of a turkey. Mm-hmm. And then you had some left over and you made gumbo with it. That's what it tastes like. But y'all leave that in the comments where y'all get y'all jambalaya from. And I will say with gumbo, I am very, 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 picky. very, 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 very picky and skeptical about getting gumbo at Ooh. restaurants. Honestly, the first time that I ordered gumbo myself at a restaurant was when we went to that place. Um, Mine too. The other day, that I I have never ordered gumbo at a restaurant. We now, don't I used go to out work. Gumbo. Right, I used to work at um, a restaurant called Newt's, and for a restaurant, Newt's has some really good chicken and sausage gumbo. Really? I will give it to them. It's Newt's eatery. So if y'all ever need them and they have chicken sausage gumbo, <clears throat> I think I don't order it for that reason. Because well, mm-hmm. baby, you. In Louisiana, and I'm gonna say this, and we're gonna get on up out of here. You gotta really, to get a good gumbo, you really gotta go to somebody, grandma house, or somebody that know how to cook like to, get, to get like that down home, like real Louisiana gumbo. Cause like what you gonna get at a restaurant might not exemplify like true Louisiana it's gumbo. Not. Ain't no money, so, it's not. This period. It, yeah, it's not. So, <laughs> but that's all I'ma say about that. Yeah, I'm I'm giving this a, a five. I didn't really it didn't really wow me to be honest. Like that bread though, I would give the bread by itself. Yeah, yeah I just separated the bread out of a packet, baby. And that's that's exactly why it's getting a nine. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, <laughs> we love y'all, we appreciate y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Peace.